Welcome back. We're here to preview Sunday afternoon's big game in the Premier League between Chelsea and Liverpool. Matt, we've got to start with Chelsea confirmed as Premier League champions by beating Palace one 0 last time. Yeah, I think it's been you talk about being confirmed, but it's been that way for some time now, isn't it? You know, they knew they're going to win the league. They've led for so long, and whoever you support, I think no one really can argue they've been the best team this season. They sit 13 points clear at, at the moment, and they've just been the best team by a million miles defensively. You know, going forward, it's just been they've just been too strong. I think we lost twice all season in the league, and you're talking about. To win the league, you usually can't really lose more than five, but the fact that they've only lost twice is, is incredible. And the game itself that confirmed it, the Palace game, obviously it was all about Chelsea in that game, wasn't it? Palace, Palace actually played quite well, though their performance went under the radar, some good chances going forward. But the game itself, in terms of the goal, I think it was quite fortunate. I think you mentioned it, you know, Hazard going down inside the box. It, from real time, it looks like it is a penalty, MacArthur, doesn't it? But in, when you slow it down, you see the replay, Hazard's clever the way he sort of leaves his foot in. and. You know, the penalty itself as well was, was poor, you know, he, he does that thing, doesn't he? he waits for the keeper to leave, Sparoni stood up, then he has the header just to put it in the bottom corner in Chelsea. As soon as they went 1-0 up, you always felt that they would win the game, you know, the, with the way they are at the back and played a strong team as you'd expect, even though they'd have lost that game and lost this one as well, they'd have still won the league, you know, they'd have won it at some point, it was just when it was going to happen. Winning it with three games left, I think I said, I said at the start of the season they'd win it by double, clear, with, uh, double points, sorry, I think they'd go, you know, 10 points and above to win the league and... Looks like, you know, they still might not do that, but it depends how they get on the last few games, but I think they will, and you talk about the way they've played this season. Champions, obviously, will be keen to make impact in Europe next season, got knocked out of PSG this season, but in terms of the league, been the best team and they deserve champions. Certainly, it's another one for Mourinho, isn't it? Three of their, I think it's four titles in the last ten years for Chelsea, and three of them have come under Mourinho. Mm-hmm. You know, he is the master of league titles, is it? I think eight domestic league titles he's won, yeah. you know, across in Portugal, Italy, Spain, and... You know, fair play to him. He is doing a fantastic job. And there's talk about him now getting a big contract extension. He's already the highest paid boss in the Premier League, I think, but he's under contract till 2017. 22 more seasons, but I think, you know, Abramovich wants the time down to 2019. And Mourinho has said, I think, you know, I, I want to stay here as long as they want me, really. So, and I think he enjoys it in England. You know, he's, he's very at home there. And fair play to him. You know, he's got them playing the best football. And you look at the stats, you know, they've got the best defence in the league now. Southampton had the best defence for long periods, but Chelsea have now, you know, they've now sort of gone ahead of Southampton in that. They've scored second and most goals in the league, 69, only two uh, fewer than Man City. So, you know, they have been very strong all season long. And, you know, we've, we've talked about it many times about, you know, how good the signings of Costa and Fabregas were, but the way the team's playing, they, they, they don't always look completely convincing, but, you know, they, they sort of dominate a game in sort of, you know, different ways, don't they? You look at some other teams, the way that, you know, Barcelona or Real Madrid dominate the game by just you know attacking and free-flowing football. It's not quite the same from Chelsea. They dominate in a different way, but it's just as effective, you know, especially in the league. I know they haven't, like you said, done great in Europe, especially this season. They would have been disappointed to lose to PSG, who plenty of talent, but they do play in the French league, PSG, and you would expect Chelsea to be you know stronger over two legs, but you know they couldn't quite do it. But you know, yeah, fair play to them. On the whole, by far the best team. You know, we, everyone picked them out as favourites at the start of the season because of just the strength and depth they have and they've, they've proved it. they haven't let anyone down this season you know, fully deserve to be champions and yeah well done to them mm, which they finished third last season on 82 points got 83 now so obviously a massive improvement for last season you can see it just in general I mean Hazard's obviously been a standout player one player of the year didn't he but talk about for this particular game be interesting to see what he does team selection I think Gary Neville said after the Palace game that he wanted to see Mourinho bring him through some English players you know they've got a lot of things they've won the Youth Cup something like Know, four of the last five seasons or something like that or in terms of trophies you know they've been really good their youth team is very strong people like Loftus Cheek you know and players like that they've got some Nathan Ake as well some really good young players and it'd be interesting to see whether he does throw them in for this game obviously I think Manchester United would be too pleased if that happens because obviously the Liverpool are still in the race for the top four so we'll be too happy if they I'm not saying they're going to throw the game but if they sort of change the team around you know, Kurt Zuma will probably come in at the back you know maybe give Cahill a rest or something but the fact that they have won the league and they play West Brom and Sunder and then the last two, so they're fancy winning both of those. So could be good end. Will be a good end to the season. They won the league, so the pressure's probably off in this game. Yeah, I don't think Mourinho will make too many changes to be honest. You know, the Liverpool game in recent years has become quite a sort of a bit of a rivalry. This one, isn't it? Obviously, Liverpool's biggest rivals in terms of the local sense are Everton and Manchester United, but the Chelsea Liverpool thing has been yeah, you know, quite yeah. a big thing in recent years. And I, I certainly don't think Mourinho is willing to lie down, even if yeah. uh, you know, though Chelsea have secured the league, but. Moving on to Liverpool, they come into this game, you know, fifth place there, four points behind Manchester United. They're still in with a shout of getting in the top four because, you know, last weekend it was very surprising to see Man United uh, lose home to West Brom, which gave, you know, had they won that, it would be seven points, you know, the gap with only three games to go, so that there would have been very little chance of clawing that gap back. But United you know, aren't playing all too well at the moment. And Liverpool, they do come into this after winning last weekend. They played QPR at home and, you know, it wasn't the best performance from them again. You know, they, you know, drew with West Brom the week before. 
But you know, this game against the QPR side, who are all but relegated now, you know, they took the lead. Coutinho it was a lovely finish from him, great goal. But then you know, QPR get back level. A disappointing goal to concede from Liverpool's perspective because you know, straight from a set piece and for you know, he's just allowed to have a volley. I think it's about 12 yards out, but he shouldn't be able to you know hit, hit the ball you know that low down in the penalty area. Someone should be heading that away by then. So that's disappointing. But you know, they do come back and eventually get the winner. Steven Gerrard. You know, he missed the penalty, and you thought that just sums up his season. Really, you know, they win the penalty, and then he misses it, and you think, oh god, you know, it's just been a, it's been a very poor season from Gerrard. You know, for his, you know, for his final season as well as a Liverpool player. So, it was disappointing he missed that, but he responded well. You know, great header from the corner to win the game for them. So, it was, it was a good response from them. But yeah, you know, you look at the way they are fifth in the table. They certainly want to finish. You know, they're still not safe in terms of fifth and sixth. You know, the two Europa League places. They want to finish fifth or sixth, and ideally fifth, really. Know, secure that Europa League spot and hopefully improve in, in Europe mm. next season. I mean, how important that QPR game was, it was that they're just their second win, the last six in the league, so that shows that their struggles recently. And you, know, you mentioned the game, what they've got to come as well. They played Palace at home, probably fancy winning that game, and they played Stoke last game this season. So you're thinking, if they get beat here, Manchester United obviously go to Crystal Palace. If United say we predicted a point, if that is the case, it will then be five points with two games left. And that's a big ask, isn't it? Because United, you'd fancy them to get a point. Obviously, it might come down to goal difference, but you fancy if Liverpool get beat here, they're probably going to be out of that race. But Liverpool's record of one two of the last four visits to Chelsea in the league, so you talk about how good Chelsea are at home, but might fancy their chances. But last season, obviously, they finished with 84 points in second. This season, only got 61. So it has been a poor season, but that, if they can sneak into the top four, a poor season will become a very good one from where they stage. Definitely. It's very unlikely, though. I think in, going into this game, even though Chelsea might rest some players, they'll start the game as favourites, you know. They've been good at home all season. What's your score prediction? Yeah, I think you just have to fancy Chelsea. And I can just see a one nil. You know, Chelsea love a one nil, shutting the game down. And Mourinho's won eight and just lost just one of his last of his ten Premier League games against Liverpool. So he knows how to beat Liverpool. Obviously, they played exactly each other. Sorry, in the uh, semi-finals of the Carling Cup as well, didn't they? So I think Chelsea will just nick it one nil. One nil. Yeah, I think it'll be quite a tight game. But I'm going to back Chelsea just to edge it as well. I'm going to go two one to the host. So I fancy Chelsea to win this game by one goal. Thanks for watching.